All right, we're sitting at 635 right now, and we're talking all about the fries. Roger, Mike. Indeed. Keep your eyes on your fries or they'll disappear <laughs> like this. Mike, good morning, sir. How are you? Yeah, good morning, Roger. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I, well, I'm a little saddened by this. I'm kind of <sighs> making light, but seriously, a fry shortage? Well, there is the fearless forecast for French fries. It's a lot of alliteration from anxious anchors placed in powerful, powerful posts. And I oh, how long have you been waiting for that? Long time, actually. Favorite movie <laughs> broadcast news. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Uh, yeah, the talk is that this year's potato crop has not been good, and this is weather-related. Uh, early this spring, it was wet in many places, specifically in the U.S. Midwest. Couldn't get the crops into the fields, and then there was an early frost. Um, so Idaho's potato crop is way down this year. Manitoba, 18% of their wow. crop has not been harvested. Uh, Alberta is the second largest province on a potato growing basis. And of course, number one is Prince Edward Island. And we will be getting that forecast from the uh, provincial government of PEI uh, next week, if not at the end of this week. So, uh, would it seriously? You know, would we seriously be looking at uh, French fry shortages? Well, it's again supply and demand, right? Yep. So, as soon as you see potato prices going up, if the supply is down, yeah, it has a ripple effect through the French fry industry. There's a new processing plant uh, for Cavendish Foods, and uh, apparently they can make a lot more French fries. But uh, and the supply chain might be disrupted if we could only get our hands on that potato forecast crop report ahead of time. We might have something from Trading Places. Or Where's Les Mr. Nesman. Beaks? I'm getting into Les Nesman, too, from WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> the Buckeye New News Hog Five Award. Five-time winner of the Copper Cob. All right. <laughs> We're five-time winner of the Buckeye News Hog Award and the Here's Cup your potato Copper Cob. Here's forecast. Okay, let's talk Trump. We're losing it right now. Two yes, old guys getting, getting going on Speaking WKRP. Speaking of losing it. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, the U.S. president talking trade this morning before the NATO summit, and now he's saying there might not be a deal. Uh, no deadline is what he is quoted as saying, and he's also saying it might be better to wait until after the November 2020 election to get a deal done with China. So days after, we had heard, well, they might be getting close. Now it's a sliding scale, Roger, and uh, it's uh, anyone's guess if and when. We've seen this story before, you mm -hmm. know, whether it was the NAFTA negotiations were close. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Might be the same with China. Markets are down, though, in response, as you might expect yeah. early on. All right, and the markets will be up when they have the deal. Yeah, Michael, thank you very much. much. Thank, you thank you very you. much, sir. Have a good one. You too. Go corner the market on fries. <laughs>